Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal, and just like the title probably says, this is going to be a CZ457 ammo test. So, what I've got here is the CZ457, which is a 22 lr right here. On top, I have a pretty basic 3 to 9 by 40 scope, and Right now, it's dialed in perfect at 100 yards uh, with some Norma Tech 22 ammo, which is this stuff right here. We got this baby sighted in dead on at 100 yards, and we're getting some same hole groups at 100 yards with that stuff. So, I thought it would be fun if we do this video. I go and grab all the 22 long rifle ammo I can find, go back to 100 yards, and see what this rifle likes. Does it eat everything? Is some of it terrible? I don't know. I kind of think um, that just about all of this is probably going to do pretty decent, but it's sighted in with those subsonic babies right there. Um, so obviously the, the uh, hits aren't going to hit exactly where it's sighted in, but we're still going to be able to see the kind of groups that it shoots. So let me show you real quick uh, the ammo we're testing. Then we're gonna get to flinging these boo lights. No nonsense video. Straight to the facts. Let me show you, zoom in close what we got. Then we're gonna go back here to 100 yards and bing bang boomy. I love doing these videos. So, show you exactly what we got here. Like I said, we sighted it in with this Norma Tech 22. We've also got some of this Match 22. We got some 22 long rifle hollow point mini mags. We got some, uh, what is this round nose mini mags? We got some CB22 long. We're gonna shoot out of this. Then what do we got? Some subsonic Ely hollow points, Remington Thunderbolts, Winchester Super X, some Remington Golden Bullets, and some of those stingers. What I typically do is set up some paper plates. On these paper plates, I'm gonna trace the outside of a penny. So you have something to reference our groups compared to the size of a penny. But we got 10. Uh, I'll set up uh, five plates. We'll shoot them. I'll set up another five plates. Then we'll bring back all the plates to the bench over here. Put them all side by side and compare them. And you guys can be the judge what this CZ likes the best. I'm going to do a five shot group out of all of these. I'm going to get this all set up. Get to flinging bullets. Y'all don't want to watch a bunch of nonsense. So let me get to it. When you guys see me next, I'll have this all set up. We're going to start flinging bullets. All right, real quick, I want to show you my rig just so you can understand why I did what I did. So we got five plates here set up. And you might be thinking, man, how come you didn't put the circle in the middle of the plate? Well, this rifle is sighted in with some subsonics and the supers are going to hit higher than what it's um, sighted in it because they got more boogie and they're going to hit higher so uh, for this one we got the cci stingers the mini mags mini mag hollow points and the super x those are all uh, supersonic rounds and then lastly we have some of these 22 longs subsonic so those should be i think somewhere near the center but the rest of those are supersonic so they're going to hit higher so i put the target lower on the plate so hopefully we actually catch the group on the paper plate there but let's get to flinging them go back to the bench at 100. all right here we go i'm gonna do my best to edit out all the nonsense so you guys can just see the information you want first uh first paper plate down there cz stingers Five shot group, CCI stingers. Let's uh, hope they uh, hit the plate there. Nope. Well, that one did. So apparently this rifle does not like the stingers. Well, maybe that first one was just bad. Those two were close. Alright, 
Next, we got to the left, Mini Mag 40 grainers. CCI Mini Mag 40 grainers are next. Pretty terrible so far. Not super impressed. Next is the Mini Mag Hollow Points. Target to the right of that one. really like those hollow points. Uh, next is the Winchester Super X from past experience. I found these to be some pretty hot ones. Uh, the box says 1300 feet per second. That one had a flyer. Last one in the, out of this five is the CB22 Longs. This will be the only, uh, this will be the first subsonic rather that we'll have done so far. Normally these 22s shoot better groups with the subsonics, but fixing to find out how it likes these 22 CB22 Longs. Wow, did that even shoot? I'm gonna hold the top of the plate. I think these are super, super soft. Wow, these are lobbing them in there. I'm gonna hold even higher. I'm gonna hold about two feet high. All right, so we actually hit the plate with that one. I'm gonna hold the exact same spot for these last two. Wow, these are so slow. 700 feet per second. But we're hitting the plate. Those are really interesting. But let's run down there and check it out and then we'll set up another five plates. So, let's see what we did so far. Those stingers, one of them missed the whole plate. Three of them pretty close and then one up a little higher. Then we went to the mini mags. That rifle does not like mini mags. Five hits hit the plate, but that's like a two or three inch group. Then the mini mag hollow points. It really likes that stuff with the exception of one flyer. Then down here we got the CCI long. That doesn't count. We were super lobbing them in. And then the Winchester Super X. Three close to the same hole, but then two other flyers. So, so far, not really impressed. Not impressed so far, but we got some more of the subs. I think this rifle's gonna do really good with those. Let's check it out, shoot them real quick, then we'll put all these plates on the table and look at them side by side. All right, now we got five more types of 22 LR for this CZ to eat. Let's try to get through them quick and see what we can do. First is this uh, Norma TAC 22. Do five shots, 100 yards. Pretty good group there out of those Normas. Next, let's do the Norma Match 22s. pretty good. I'd have a winner here. 
Oh, was that five already? I was having fun with those. Next, we got these Ellie's or Ely's, however you want to call it. Man, killing it with these. Those did absolutely fantastic. Next, we're going to do the Remington Thunderbolts. Uh, since these are supersonic, it's probably going to be a terrible group. Uh, this rifle seems to not like the supersonic stuff. We'll see what happens with the Remington Thunderbolts. This is probably the cheapest ammo out of the bunch. Actually, I know it's the cheapest ammo out of the bunch. Hmm. Not terrible, but not good. Now we got the 22 golden bullets here. Remington golden bullets. Well, that was the best supersonic group. That's all of them. Let's go down there and check out and see what happened. All right, so walking up to it, there's the Norma Tech 22. Remember that circles a penny, almost four in the same hole. Then the Match 22. Then the Ellie Subsonics. Then the Remington Thunderbolts. Then the Remington Golden Bullet. But let's go over there and put them all side by side, all ten of them. All right, now we got them all laid on on the table. Let me show you real quick. Those don't really count because they are super, super slow. Then we had the Winchester Super X. There's our group. CCI Mini Mags, not very good. Mini Mags Hollow Point, surprisingly good and a flyer. CCI Stingers, not very good. Then we had the Norma Tech 22, pretty good. Remember, that's the size of a penny, four in almost the same hole. Match 22, five shots there, all just about within the size of the penny. That's good too. Remington Thunderbolts, that is the worst group out of the whole day. That's just kind of garbage. Ellie Subsonics, incredible group. Then we had the Remington Golden Bullets. So here's a conclusion. Worst, Remington Thunderbolts, terrible group. The best was these Ellie Subsonics. Very, very good group at 100 yards with a 9 power scope. And then probably a tie with these two Normas. Those are really good as well. If you have to shoot a supersonic, if you can get your hands on this stuff, this did the best group from a supersonic. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. I don't know about you, but that was a whole lot of fun. I really, really enjoy doing those type of ammo tests. Um, and showing you guys what works and what doesn't work at least for me but my general advice if you're shooting a CZ 457 shoot subsonic ammo so all three of those subsonics did very very well at 100 yards pretty much quarter size groups and we could probably do a little bit better um, if we really zoned in took our time and had perfect conditions but supersonics out of this rifle uh, more or less kind of garbage. You might be able to hit a squirrel at 100 yards. Uh, probably could, but you're not going to be drilling the same hole at 100 yards with supersonics. But right now, get what you can get. But if you're shooting these CZs, definitely pick you up a pile and then another pile of the subsonics. And you'll be good to go as long as you can do your part squeezing that trigger. But as always, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We put out tons and tons of videos. We'll see y'all in the next one. Big thanks to Heavy Metal. Y'all go check out my buddy Paul and subscribe. We'll see y'all in the next one. Hoo-doo!